Hello everyone, welcome to Last Bench Lizana. In this session, we are going to see about the waterfall model and V model of the software process. Waterfall model. A software process, also known as software development life cycle, is a structure imposed on the development of software product. Waterfall model is a sequential model that divides the software development into different phases. Each phase is designed for performing specific activity during software design life cycle space. The waterfall model was the first software process model to be introduced in 1970 by Winston Royce. It's also referred as linear sequential life cycle model. This model represents the fundamental development of activities. Let's have a look on the waterfall model architecture and move to little more detailed descriptions of each phase. In waterfall model first phase is requirement analysis, second phase is system design, third phase is implementation, fourth phase is systems testing, fifth phase is system deployment and final phase is system maintenance. Requirement analysis and definition. During this phase, detailed requirements of the software system to be developed or gathered from client. Software requirement specification establishes the basis for agreement between customers and contractors or suppliers on what the software product is to do. Software requirement specification permits rigorous assessment of requirements before design can begin. It should also provide basis for estimating product cost, risk and schedules. Second phase is system and software design. Design activity results in the overall software architecture. Software design involves identifying and describing fundamental software system components and their relationships. The system design process positions the requirements to either hardware or software components. Here can the programming language like Java, PHP, .NET or database like Oracle, MySQL, etc. or other high level technical details of the project. Third level is implementation and unit testing. During this space, the software design is realized as a set of software components. Components are tested ensuring each component meets its specification. After design stage, it is built stage that is nothing but it's according the software. Next phase is integration and system testing. In this space, we test the software to verify it is built as per the specification given by the client. As well as all the program units or components are integrated and tested as the complete system to ensure that the software requirements have been met. After successful testing, the software system is to deliver to the customer. Next space is system deployment. In this space, we can deploy the application in respective environment. Next final space is maintenance here. The system is delivered and deployed and put into practical use. Maintenance involves the correcting errors which were or not discovered in earlier stages of the life cycle. It's improving the implementation of the system units and providing new functionalities as new requirements emerge. Once our system is ready to use, we may later require changes the code as per the customer request. The result of each space are one or more documents. The following phase shall not start until the previous space is complete. In practice, the stages overlap and feed information to each other. During design, problems with requirements are identified. During coding, design problems are found and so on. So the software process is not simple linear model but involves the sequence of iterations of the development activities. Because of the cost of producing and approving documents, iteration are costly and involve a significant rework. The waterfall model should only be used when the requirements are well understood and lie unlikely to change significant during system development. Advantages of waterfall model Before the next phase of the development, each phase must be completed and suited for smaller projects where requirements are well defined, they should perform quality assurance test that is verification and validation test before completing each stage. Elaborate documentation is done at every phase of the software development cycle. 
Project is completely depend on project team with minimum client intervention. Any changes in the software is made during the process of the development. We have lots of disadvantages. They are error can fix to only during the phase. It is desirable for complex project where requirement changes frequently. Testing periods come quite late the developmental process. Documentation occupies a lot of time of developers and testers. So clients a valuable feedback cannot be included with ongoing development phases. And finally small changes or errors that arises in the completed software may cause a lot of problems. So when we can use that waterfall model? If project if your project is small and requirements are very clear then we can choose the waterfall model to follow or for low budget projects when changes in the technology and tools used are not dynamic and it's stable then we can choose waterfall model to develop our software and requirements are not changing frequently on the time also we can choose waterfall model application is not complicated and big then we can choose waterfall model to develop our software overall the waterfall model should only be used when the requirements are well understood and unlikely to change significantly during the system development Remodel of software process. This model also known as verification and validation model. It's represented a development process model that may be considered an extension of waterfall model. This model moves down in a linear way the process steps are bent upwards after implementation phase to form the typical V-shape. View model demands state the relationship between each phase of the development life cycle and its associated phase of the testing. In waterfall model, the process steps follows each other in a sequential order, but in a V model, it allows the parallel execution activities, which means project development and testing should go parallel. V model testing should start at the beginning of the project when requirement analysis starts. Look on V model architecture. In this phases are represents project development. In this phases are represent testing. But in a V model, it allows the parallel execution of this activities. Okay, let's move to little more detailed description. Requirement definition phase. The requirement of the system are collected by analyzing the needs of the user, and in a parallel user acceptance or functional test cases are also designed at the level of general design specification the software architecture its components with their interfaces are designed at high level to provide functional requirement of the software the design of component testing is also carried out in this phase in the detailed design specification phase the units and the modules are designed at a low level the low level design documents or program specification will contain a detailed functional logic of the units and the modules the unit test cases are also developed in this phase. After implementation of this development process continues upwards by unit integration and the system testing. Advantages of V model. If the project is small and easy to understand, V model is the best approach of its easy and simple to use. Many testing activities are performed in the beginning like planning and design which saves a lot of time in testing period. Most of the defects and bugs are found in the beginning of the project development, so less chances to defects to the occur in final testing phases. Disadvantages of V model: guessing the error in beginning of the project could take more time. It's have less flexibility. Any changes done in the middle of the development, which is unplanned, could make difficult to make changes at all places like test document and requirements. V model should be followed. V model should be followed for small projects where requirements are clear and easy to understand at the beginning of development. V model should follow for the project where very less probability to make a chances in the in middle of testing or development phases which are unplanned. Probably waterfall model and V model are well suited for small projects only. In our next lecture we will discuss about evolutionary development model thank you for watching